All right, we have made it to the Pine Mountain Resort here in Iron Mountain. This is Chris here, and we are going to be exploring the Pine Mountain Resort in Iron Mountain, Michigan. They have a really cool uh, veteran memorial here, a uh, really cool ski jump, and a lot of fun things to do on the resort. And we will show you our room and some other things that this resort has to offer in the off season. It is really popular during the winter season and they are making a bunch of upgrades. So come with us as we explore Pine Mountain Resort. All right, we are checked in and we are heading over to our room here at the Pine Mountain Resort. I got a love lock fence. All right, so we got a restaurant and a pool, saltwater pool inside there. Restaurant, bar. We're over here by the chairlift. You want to go? You want to go skiing, sledding, snowboarding? Down this mountain? I just want to go all the way up there. Here? Yeah? Thanks, Captain. All right, so here we are. We got ourselves a fireplace, small TV, two love seats, kitchenette, refrigerators, microwave, porch. Alright, so it's old. You get the wall AC unit here in the master. Alright. Where we got? Where's my light switches? Look at that. That does not look old at all. This is very old. <laughs> Woohoo! That's still cool. Definitely worth the price that we paid. Some artwork, some Indians, and horses. And here's the public bathroom for everybody else. All right, we thought we were gonna get bunk beds, but we got two twins, another TV, little kitchen corner with uh, the fuse box, another old AC up there. We got a little sink over here too. So you can brush your teeth without going into the other bathroom. Windows are dirty. But I guess this would be really cool to be watching everyone go up on the chairlift. From your bedroom. Yeah, totally. That would be pretty cool in the winter. Alright, so we got our balcony. There's the other chairlift over there. Well, it looks like, looks like what? Two more sets of chairlifts. Well, we get a little bird nest up here. Why did they notice this? Right. So they said they would give us wood. I think right, free wood to start a fire. Oh, it's right there in the thing. Okay. So we can have our own little fires and play some cornhole and then they have bikes inside that they said we could get to ride for two hours mm -hmm. i don't know where you ride them there's live entertainment in the, over there yeah. this little s s statue over here with the kids looks pretty cool there's a girl over there wearing a white dress it almost looks like they had a wedding or something Oh then, hold on, hold on. Get a pan back out. So, I think like uh, this is like a birthday party or something over here. All right, so it's a good price. It is definitely seeing its age. The tongue and groove is all jacked up up here. The doors are all messed up. They're really dirty. It's, I would assume it's off season maybe it's cleaned up more before winter 
but it's cool. It's not super fancy, but like I said, I think we paid three hundred and thirty-three dollars and uh, sleep six, so that's awesome. And all the extra stuff is pretty cool too. So they give us free cookies for everybody, and like I was saying, we got the pool. You get the wood. You can ride the bikes. You can play the cornhole and all that extra amenities things so yeah I'm not complaining <laughs> just letting you know so being a carpenter these stairs are way over seven and a quarter and I think they're way over eight inches so maybe in snow boots or something that's fun to walk up but those are not to code <laughs> Maybe Iron Mountain has a different uh, code they go by. We are kind of interested in, oh, I'm kind of interested actually, going to the top of the mountain. I wonder if they got like an access road or something because they did not cut any of this grass. But I really want to go up to the top of Pine Mountain. All right, decent sized pool. You got five foot to three foot and you got a whirlpool salt water it's really warm in here all right so get yourself a little foosball get your honky ball nascar some crane machines another crane machine coin thing and you get yourself a little fitness center. Home of the AUP Sports Hall of Fame. We will be eating here in a little bit. So these are the bikes that you can get to ride around for like two hours. guy playing some guitar so you got some live music spotted our our friend over here so we gotta say hi is that harry hey harry oh wait i gotta turn the camera the other way <sighs> oh my gosh dude you're buff bro he works out hitting the gym What's up, man? Yeah, so Still would. God, it's so tall. We have one of these ski jumps over by us. Man, these these things are just so ridiculously tall. Must be fun to watch. Look at all those stairs. All those stairs. I don't know if I can talk Leah into doing that. I'd totally do that. To check out, check out Harry's butt, man. A nice little badunka dunk on him. Iron Mountain. We are on our way to Walmart. Woohoo! Woo the Green Spot Cafe. To get some okay. stuff, some milk, and some pizzas to cook in our convection oven. Pretty sure there was nothing in there, right? Yeah. Um, I didn't imagine, I didn't it's an oven. dream that. It's a cute little part of town here. It is relatively cute, huh? Go to the Carlos Cantina. Oh no. Big John, we're gonna go see you tomorrow. Ooh, broken glass. I like that look. Alright, so I am outside getting eaten by mosquitoes, watching 
the neighboring firework displays out here by the master bedroom. All right, so as we watch the fireworks, I will tell you what's going to happen tomorrow morning since I am recording this at my house and I know what the rest of the video is like. All right, so I wake up early in the morning and I go up a bunch of stairs to check out the views from the top of Pine Mountain. And then after that, I head over to get breakfast at the on-site restaurant and it is like a hall of fame for upper michigan stuff so look forward to showing you guys that so let's go having cookies some pizza and we got our gas fireplace good morning everybody kids are asleep and I'm gonna go climb a mountain. There we go. There it is. The first step. Keeps going. There's like a placard on every one of these. So they all got numbers and whoever donated or bought a step we are at 200 right now pretty awesome view 200 steps up Still a little bit more to go, but we're going to go out on the little deck here to nowhere. Oh, small people down there. All right, the view from this little observation deck. Hello, sun. We didn't catch a sunset, but this might be an okay view. We got a couple trees in the way, though. We're like minutes from the Wisconsin border, upper Wisconsin. We are gonna head over to Norway and go check out the iron mines again. Take the tour. Check out Big John. And then we'll probably see some waterfalls later today. I'm gonna explore a little bit of this since skiing and jumps like this, I've never really actually got that close. I doubt I'll, I'd be able to get up on the ramp, but I'll walk over there, I'll see. What all the facilities look like over here. I don't think I'm Anywhere I'm not supposed to be. All the gates are open. Okay, so yeah, it looks like some mountain bike trails going out this way. So in February, it says some crazy ski jumping.
I believe this is the memorial that they were talking about. The veteran memorial. Up here at the top. Is that 500 steps? Desert storm. Yeah, it did look like you can just drive up here if you don't want to go up 500 steps. It says the cameras are here. We're not doing nothing bad. flag here. Oh, there it is. There's our there's our keep out sign. I was hoping maybe to go a little bit up the stairs, but at least at least above the trees. Maybe see that side of the the mountain where the ski hills are. So in town they do have this military museum with the glider. Unfortunately it is not open. Uh, on Sunday, as of the filming of this, but we drove past this yesterday the building it had some iron mine relics out front you got American Legion Memorial Highway placard and then uh, what does he look like a sailor right there We got a little donation tube over here and a Dr. Pepper machine. All right, we're gonna take in the views a little bit and then head down the 500 steps and some change back to the hotel room. Now the hardest part about these steps is they're not even steps. And I think it would be a lot of fun doing this in the middle of winter, wearing all your snow gear. I don't know if they got like trucks running up the ski gear, running up the jumpers and stuff, but holy cow. <laughs> it's, it's a crazy sport with a huge walk at the end if you actually had to walk back up here since I know nothing of this sport. See, I know nothing of that. I just know they get in those two little ruts and they go super far leaning forward over their skis. Oh, where these this just ends a lot of pretty flowers here Eh, 
I got a little curious about the, those mountain bike trails. Walk over here a little bit. No one's up this early. Get yourself a, a double here. And a bunch of trails. Yeah, it looks like fun. I have not been on a bike in a long time. One of my friends that used to ride bikes passed away recently. That's about as much as I've known about people riding their bikes in their 30s and 40s. All right, so I totally walked past the, the trail system. But those little Walters Wiggles looking things there. It's crazy. So this would go all the way down. I wonder if they're trying to, the bikes they have at the lodge. I wonder if those are the ones they're intending on us doing this. Kind of thought it was just a, like right around the neighborhood, but maybe they want us to kill ourselves. Yeah. All right, so. Yeah, so this is where we stayed over here. So this is all. All the trails up here on the ski jump and then these ones go up to the top of the the ski hill here very cool i don't know if that's a, an employee drive or not but maybe i'd take leah up here so she could see the views without having to walk up the stairs All right, we are heading back down. We're gonna go and get everybody and then we're gonna go over to get breakfast from the restaurant here on property at the Pine Mountain Resort. They have a, like a hangover burger. It's like breakfast on a burger. That sounds delicious. We didn't have dinner there last night. We just made some pizzas from Walmart but we'll check that out there's a bunch of Hall of Fame stuff in there from like all the past ski jumpers and so I'll show you guys a little bit of that and then we're gonna head over to Norway and go underground and check out an iron mine so All right, 500 steps, I got my breath back. Let's go. Now I would say the downside of starting to film yourself in your 40s is these cameras keep getting better and I keep getting older. So hopefully bags under my eyes go away. <laughs> Once I put some water on it, get woken up, but I'm <sighs> not as pretty as I used to be. So I'm going to try to not show you guys my face very much. I don't know if you guys can see how, how steep these stairs are. It's crazy. Like almost every hundred steps, they get a little 
rest area here. But still be cool to watch some ski jumping. They got one of these ski jumps over in, uh, I believe it's Fox River Grove, kind of in my neck of the woods. We thought it was crazy because it's never really that cold. But I was doing some uh, some deck repair up on the the hill that the other I think they called it the the Norge ski jump or something. And I was doing some deck repair on a house that was up on the hill. Probably one of the bigger hills. I would believe it's still Fox River Grove. I don't know. I think it's Lake County probably. And it is much easier going down than it is going up. So over here, as we were driving down, one of the towns where they have the, the iron mine shaft museum and the ski and snowboarding museum, but supposedly it's very skint on the snowboarding hall of fame. Yeah, oh, not, yeah, it's not a, not really a museum. I think it was more labeled a Hall of Fame. But, I don't know. One of the commenters is like, it's called the, the Ski and Snowboarding Hall of Fame. And they only have like six snowboarders represented in there. Which is more of the sport that I follow. I was in a huge ski fan. Or a skier fan, to be honest. More of a snowboarder. At least I tried to be a snowboarder. I bought a snowboard. Gone down Wilmot Mountain a couple times. But I could never really afford the lift tickets. Can't even really afford the tubing tickets to go over to Wilmot and even just go snow tubing. That is like a rich people sport, for sure. I did get joined by one other crazy person that decided to do 500 steps in the morning. They're from Wisconsin. So I'm not the only one that thinks it would be fun to walk upstairs at six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that sun is really starting to warm up. Taking away that, that little bit of haze. You know, that, that view. The sky's getting a little blue, but it still kind of has a, a haze over Michigan here. But looks like it might be a, another pretty day to go underground in an iron mine. But we might go and check out Long Falls and a, and a couple other waterfalls. We did Dave Falls in a different video. I don't think I'll retrace those steps. Try to see a couple different waterfalls. Uh, over here, upper Wisconsin, there's a ton of waterfalls. I believe you, you pay for a parking thing at one it's like a self-pay last time we were there you put like five bucks in an envelope with your license plate you take a little sticker and supposedly that's good at all the what do we call them i think they call them all like county parks and there's a bunch of waterfalls you can go check out so depending on how much time and how much uh the pregnancy is weighing down on Leah. 
We'll see what we can see before we head back. If I remember correctly, there was a, a cute ice cream, not a cute ice cream shop, just an ice cream shop that we might hit. And that would probably be the last thing before we get back into Illinois. So right there, Pine Mountain. The ski jump and the, oh he's coming back down already must be doing it just strictly for the exercise not the views all right let's go get some breakfast all right so there's our sasquatch in here you know, I did mention a couple towns north, they have the Skiing Hall of Fame. And that is because up here in Michigan was the first place for organized skiing, I guess. So I guess that's pretty cool. The sun is right in my face. Got my zero sugar monster while I wait for a little more time to pass before we go and get breakfast. I haven't checked the time to see what time the restaurant actually opens, but I would assume it's gonna be opening soon. The hotels usually did like six or seven, so. So this is the other side in the morning. Looks like a beautiful day. You remember that map we were looking at? So you got mountain bike trails all up here. I think Wilmot Mountain does mountain bike stuff too in the off season. But this one looked a little more extensive, a little more rugged up there on the top of the ski jump though. Ooh. All right, we are back on the GoPro, so that's fun. I'm gonna let the cell phones charge. Most of, most of the footage is been. Oh my god, dude, I, I kid you not, these stairs suck. I'm carrying a baby down these stairs. Oh. All right, we are off to breakfast. All right, we made it <laughs> inside. I need coffee, I don't know about you guys. Time for breakfast. I'm all right, so here's all your upper Michigan memorabilia. Peckers, Frank Novak, This is kind of cool. It looks like lockers. Some tennis. Phyllis. Look at the skis. We know Khalif Raymond who plays for the Lions. Michigan State Northern.
girl baseball, huh? That's a baby Ruthie. Nineteen ninety three. Nineteen twenty. Okay. I was like, I was alive in ninety three. So. Right, we'll go look at a couple more. There's an old Chicago Blackhawks coming up there. Cool penny up there. Um, oh. So much old stuff all over. You could look around here forever, seeing cool things, little nods. To all the people from Upper Michigan. How long here? Tennis, football, more skis. Very cool place. All right, so I got corned beef hash, two eggs, some toast. This is not gonna fill me up. Well, luckily, I have breakfast burrito, steak and eggs, and some hot cakes over there. I'll cut it. I'll do it. Guys, check this out. Harry Potter's from here too. The love lock fence. Okay. Cool. You need a big old lock like that. Like this guy, so you can't. No, the rusty ones. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why the rusty ones? So it looks cooler. This one's cute. This one's. I like that mm -hmm. one. This one is odd. I like this one. This one's weird. Do the it. bike lock. Don't climb up there. Kids on a log. Huh, that's crazy. I actually kind of thought that that was the tallest, but it looks like this pine cone one peak is actually taller than uh, the ski jump. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that is actually a little taller. I did notice this, that they're building some really nice little uh, cabin things out here so those will look really nice so it won't be as dated as what we stayed in it's like the whole facility over here looks pretty awesome I don't know if it would so they do have a, a hiking trail over here You can see a little bit more of the mountain bike trails here. I was very tempted to go up to the top of the lift chairs, but I don't think I'm going to do it. I am carrying the baby right now. And it became a little overcast. Hopefully that goes away. But we're going to head over to Norway and go do our 
Iron Mountain. Uh, sorry, our Iron Mine tour. So let's go. I guess the sculpture looks a little better from this side because you can actually see the faces of the kids. That would be cool. So it looks like they got a whole bunch of new foundations that they're building. So these will have the proper amenities. And they will look like this. Little double wides. <laughs> They don't look that cute from the back, but they're right at the bottom of the ski hill. All right, we got it in cinematic mode. Does that look cool? I mean, it's blurry in the background. Right, because we want the focus on us. Whoa. Normal video, here's the normal. There's the wife. We got her all the way up here in Pier, Michigan. Here, what about this? This view is better. Get the lake. Yeah, it's pretty. That was something minor, a mining lake or some shit. Down that way? Maybe, I don't know. I saw it somewhere on there. It was called something mine or something on the lake. But we, we tried to get the kids out. Not one. Oh, we got a kid. Ryan joins us. 